Right, welcome back. And as I said at the very beginning, our first segment would be the visit of the Almani Sultan to Egypt, his first since assuming uh, office. And uh, the two days visit that so lots and lots of, uh, of events. Uh, before we move on to our discussion, let's first have this quick report. And President Sisi's Alman's Sultanic V on necessity to inten intensify efforts to set a regional crisis. Let's watch. Sisi and Sultan of Oman, Haysam bin Tariq, have agreed on the necessity to intensify efforts to settle the ongoing Arab and regional crises during their meeting in Cairo. This should come in a way that safeguards the supreme interests of the Arab peoples and preserve their resources and gains. Sultan bin Tariq is paying a two-day official visit to Egypt starting on Sunday, his first since assuming power in 2020 to enhance Egyptian Omani cooperation in various fields and coordinate with Cairo regional developments. During the meeting, President Sisi and the Omani Sultan discussed regional and international issues as part of their keenness to achieve regional security and stability amid the enormous threats facing the region and a number of Arab countries. President Sisi praised the historical and friendly relations between Egypt and Oman adding that the relations between the two countries have always been based on solidarity, coherence and cooperation in the face of crises and challenges. For his part, Sultan bin Tariq voiced his keenness to enhance the frameworks of ongoing cooperation with Egypt and to open new horizons for their relations in various fields during the coming period. Sultan bin Tariq praised Egypt as being of strategic and cultural depth to the entire Arab world and as an element for preserving the security and stability in the region. During their meeting, they discussed exchanging expertise to achieve development. They also discussed ways to modernize administrative apparatuses and work mechanisms by implementing governance and digitization. Meanwhile, Egyptian or many trade and investment relations have been growing in recent years. Trade exchange between both countries increased by 64% in 2022, reaching $1.1 billion, up from $650 million in 2021. Right, welcome back. And uh, to highlight uh, the visit, we have with us over the phone Dr. Haini Abdelaziz, former assistant UN Secretary General. Good evening to you. Uh, good evening, madam. Um, thank you for being with us. And, uh, sir, how do you read the visit of the, uh, the Omani Sultan to Egypt at this very critical time? And just uh, uh, after the uh, Arab League summit that was held in Jeddah? Okay, let, let me uh, start by saying that the relationship between uh, uh, Egypt and uh, the Sultanate of Oman are, are long-standing relationships, even during the uh, most difficult years of, uh, uh, of the Nasserist period, uh, tense relation with uh, most of the uh, Gulf states. Relations with uh, the, the Sultanate of Oman have been always very good, at least. Uh, now, this, uh, this visit, which, which is in response to the visit of President Sisi to, uh, to the South of Oman, yes. reflects uh, uh, the, 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 the strong desire and uh, hopefully uh, the uh, clear agreement on increasing uh, the level of economic ties between the two countries on, uh, on a partner type of uh, relationship. Uh, it is not worthy that uh, uh, the uh, Egyptian public sector and private sector have investment in the Salt of Oman over uh, 1.2 or 1.3 uh, billion dollars. Uh, in terms of reciprocity, uh, the Salt of Oman has always uh, had uh, some important in investment in, uh, in the Egyptian uh, economy. Uh, this is apparently, according to agreement, is going to uh, double or eventually even triple, uh, triple during the coming uh, period. 
uh, increasing the the level of uh, economic relationship and uh, uh, balance uh, commercial balance between the two countries uh, to uh, to to higher level. Um, right, uh, Dr. Ablaziz, um, um, let me here take. Uh, uh, not just the economic uh, uh, bilateral uh, relations that we need uh, to further uh, enhance because as you said respectively 1. Point, uh, uh, 1. 1. Point, uh, uh, and margins uh, a billion dollars uh, uh, is not what we w would be satisfied with but we need uh, to boost it more but also some of the uh, several several uh, crises that are passing by the uh, region and the international crises that are also reflecting uh, on the region and how important is it to coordinate consultations and unite stance towards facing those uh, crises? Definitely, definitely on, on international relations and you know uh, creating more solid bonds which are have been in the case of the South America always I would say at least very good, if not excellent. Uh, the Sultan Oman had always a position, a bit, uh, I would say, independent from other uh, Gulf states. Uh, Sultan of Oman considered itself an entry point to the economies of the uh, other Gulf states. And uh, investing in the, that's the position of the Sultan of Oman. Investing in the Sultan of Oman opens the doors uh, the economic doors, the financial. I, I, I the can't doors. hear your voice, sir. Uh, yes, unfortunately, I hear you very well this time, but I, 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 I don't have a means to increase the voice, uh, the volume. Uh, do you hear me better now? To a certain extent, please continue. To a certain extent, yeah, well, that's a technical problem. I, I, I raised it several times with your technical people, and there was no real solution to it. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I'm saying that the Sultanate of Oman has always positioned itself as an entry point to the economies of the Gulf states in an independent, uh, a, a more independent attitude and, and, uh, and uh, uh, a political stand. Uh, based on this, the Sultanate of Oman sees that investing in the industry in, uh, in, in this country will open the trade will even increase and enhance the trade relationship between uh, any investors, including Egypt, of course, uh, with, with the other Gulf states, like Bahrain, etc. Et uh, and that's a good point. I, I think it's a good point if we can use it. And I think we will be using it according to the, what I see in terms of agreement. I don't have details yet. The details will appear. More important is the execution of, uh, of, of those promises and those agreements uh, on, 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 on solid ground. Uh, there is always an effort uh, from the Sultan Oman to increase its uh, uh, contribution to and its investment in, in, in Egypt. It's a declared position. It says it's going to be in, in, in large figures, uh, which is welcomed in terms of reciprocity of uh, of effort to enhance the relationship on the economic side, but politically, I would stress that the Sultan has always a relative independent position within the the the, the Gulf states. Uh, it does not follow necessarily the position on others uh, for a multitude of reasons, uh, but that that's a fact of uh, that's a, a reality, and that's very good, I believe. Right. Dr. Henny Ablaziz, former assistant UN Secretary General, we thank you so much for being with us. Now we move on to our uh, second segment. Before we move on, uh, uh, let's have a quick break and we'll come back.